Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Near the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. A very loud morning. Hope he smokes. I thought it was raining hard the other day. <laughs> oh, boy. It is raining hard. That sound you hear is rain. Now, I could shut the windows some more. I mean, the windows open. Wide open with a box fan covering most of it. But, you know, that's veins and grates. Now, the water doesn't get in. Even when it's really windy, it doesn't get in because there's a roof part and it's dry at the window, even though it's raining horribly outside. So, thumbs up on that. <clears throat> but it's raining, raining hard, and that's why it's loud. I do need to, pretty soon, change the box fan out of the window because it is getting cooler. But with all my equipment and me and the radiant heating and the floor, it stays pretty warm in here, so I need to keep a window open. Thumbs up for that. But still, I don't want to do it yet, because the stuff I need to move, that would tear apart the one area where the spider above the window is, and I don't want to destroy her little setup. And the spider in the window next to the box fan that would destroy that setup entirely. Now, that wouldn't so much bother the other spider over in the corner, the garden spider there. She's very active this morning. She's either making her web or repairing it, doing something. She's crawling around in it, so thumbs up on that. So, when they're moved on or passed on or... Ooh! thunder outside. Hopefully I'm not going to lose power during the middle of this. Oh, that's bad. <sighs> so, that's that's what's going on. There's spiders, and there's spiders back there, and spiders up here. I found a baby spider inside of you know my late Gojira, the hamster's cage, and over against the light, there's a, a baby spider there. So that's a good thing. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Yay! Oh, I only can hope that we're not going to lose power. That would suck so bad. Ugh. But anyway, on that. So that's with the spider report and what I, I have plans for for the window over there. <laughs> But, for the rest of it, the Shelton Wash, well, it's even the weather report, and ah, oh, my cat is driving me crazy lately. She's in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, more than normal. In fact, she's probably only going to be in here for, oh, good golly, Miss Molly. I'm probably going to get it into position and semi-centered, and before I get too comfortable, she's going to be scraping to leave. Yay. No, well, she's a cat, so by design. But there is the weather. That's what's happening outside. Like I say, hopefully we're not going to lose power. Hopefully no blips or blops where I, I lose power and then lose everything. Thumbs up on that. And then there's the spider report. Now for the plague rat report. Of course, I went to the store and people with no masks or just pulled down. I mean... Uh, uh. I'm at the age where, yeah, there's the chances of my dying aren't huge, but they are kind of larger than I like. So I don't want to get it and die. And the people that don't take it serious that are threatening my life and the lives of everyone around them, thanks a lot. Uh. There was something else about that I had wanted to talk about, talk, mentioning the, the plague rats and the health and and all that, but now I can't remember. Oh, I hate my brain. You gotta love it, though. Also, though, this is one thing I do want to talk about before I forget. I've mentioned before how I severed the nerve in my arm, like even yesterday. And for like a year, to, almost two years, my hand was completely just dead. I can only feel, I can only move these things like that, and that was it. And that that was dead. It's only it's been the past couple years it is, I've been getting function back. I still have a lot of 
pain with it and it's just not working well even at the best of times one of the very very irritating things that happens and it doesn't help my hand because it's not my hands fault it really doesn't help my hand this whole situation it's like punishment it's like I'm punishing my hand for what's happening and it's not its fault <coughs> But so many games that I play on my computer, they require me to hold my mouse in a specific position, and then my hand on the mouse, and then click and hold like the button. Like if you play the game Gr Grim Dawn, an isometric game, it's like the old Diablo, Diablo 2 stuff. You click and you drag to move, and you hold it down to move, and then you hold the click down button on enemies to attack them, and so you're holding and clicking for a very long time. This nerve already has issues. The signals come out really sound and clear, travel through here, go through all the various bits of scar damage, nerve damage, hit out here, and the signal ain't so good anymore. Things hurt. It doesn't work well if I'm not thinking about it. It's just a, a club with tendrils at the end. Add the locked position on top of that. And oh my gosh, is that not good. I can be playing for a time and when I let go, my hand literally goes... horrible loud cracking noises as I get my fingers moving again. It is horrific. And this isn't arthritis, the best I know, because arthritis is a wearing away of your cartilage and then you just have bare bones rubbing against each other. Well, I have no problems with actual movement. I don't have, the pain that I have is not <clears throat> arthritis pain. I have fibromyalgia pain, I have nerve damage pain, but the actual joints, when I, especially when I have cannabis in there, they work great. They don't catch, they don't slide, there's no real pain other than just the pain of the severed nerve and fibro. So it's not arthritis, but especially this finger here. <coughs> Excuse me. When I'm, especially when I'm playing games like Grim Dawn, where you click and hold, I, it's not going to do it now since I popped it just beforehand, but every five minutes or so, I have to, oh, well, I did. I have to pop that knuckle, and it helps to pop that knuckle, too, because that finger will really just stick to the point that any movement, it's going crack, 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 and it hurts. It's stuck, and each movement hurts because it's going crack, crack. But I pop that knuckle there, and then this one too. But it's this joint and not this joint. And they stop sticking. And then it hurts because I cracked the knuckle, but it doesn't hurt because it sticks. So there's the cracked knuckle pain, the sticking knuckle pain, and then when I'm done, there's the, oh, I really had to manhandle my knuckle to crack it pain. It's still a lot less than here. But boy, there are times that I am literally worrying if I'm going to mangle my knuckle and just break my finger, but it's not releasing. And then finally, when I'm about to give up, pop. And then relief. But holy smokes. And plus, I noticed out of the corner of my eye, I had a mosquito on my arm earlier and I tried to zap it but I missed and so I saw it flying around over here so hopefully you're not going to see like a, a mosquito land on my face or neck yay <laughs> uh, I, I mean already this arm and hand is just sore and tired just from doing things and doing this stuff these muscles are just a mess it is, a, it is nasty. Don't sever, sever your nerves. It's, it's not worth it. It really isn't. And the thing is, of course, on this, because it has pain, because it has all this stuff, I tend to use this hand 
for my quote-unquote dominant hand. But that doesn't help because the only way to make this better is continued use. Physical therapy. I have to constantly fight against the damage done. And not fighting against the damage done just means there's more damage for a longer period of time. Now, eventually, I'm going to lose the fight. I mean, it's a slow, slow fight when you do things like this. And it's just, you can't keep it up. We're human beings. But I have to press and pull back this way hard. And I do it for a minute at a time. And I can feel every muscle through here just stretching tight with my doing that. Which, of course, also, oh, all these muscles back here, come on now are just cramping up but if I don't stretch them they're gonna get tighter and tighter and keep pulling and pulling inward until that's my normal position or this is so I gotta keep fighting <sighs> another one of the reasons everything hurts because of the cramping and contraction don't sever your nerves it's really not a good idea. And again, I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I mean, I've even talked before about sever severing your nerves, but it's true. Don't do it. It's bad. But past that, I have not been doing much in my life. And I am sorry for that. I have been having sleep issues and falling asleep during the day, as always, and that's always bad, especially with my sleep apnea, so thumbs up. But still, life is life. We do what we can, but we do what we have to. We push on, we survive, we fight, because to not is to just roll over and die. And don't do that. Fight. Even if symbolically, even if just in your head, even if it's just a mental attitude, you gotta fight. Because otherwise, you just, you roll over and die. And that's no good. Past that, just been thinking of story ideas, working on various things and concepts, thinking about various games that I play and try and play. There was one thing I was also thinking of on games, but now I can't even remember that. Oh well. <laughs> that's just my brain. I didn't sleep wonderfully last night. After I went walkies last night and such, I wanted to take a shower. I mean, I took another more comprehensive sponge bath this morning because I wanted to take a shower last night but couldn't. So I'm still clean, but I wasn't able to scrub myself with sandpaper and, with, and use scouring chemicals. I just had to use regular chemicals and cloth and clean myself hitting on them spots but after I went walkies I got back and by nine o'clock I could barely keep my eyes open so I was in bed 9 30 9 30 quarter to 10 something around those lines just uh, now of course I did not take a caffeine tablet before I went to bed but I'd taken one around six seven o'clock I figured that was good enough I uh, wish I'd taken it. Well, didn't have total insomnia last night, but was awake a lot more than I, I was happy. So it was minor insomnia. I just got to remember, before I go to bed, I need to take a caffeine tablet. Doesn't matter how long... It doesn't matter how long before I had taken one. I need to take one now. So that was joyous. Definitely a thumbs up. I'm going to try and take a shower sometime today, but that's going to be fun because there's... Since my housemates take care of kids and now there's always five and six kids and there's only one bathroom downstairs and that's the bathroom that's quote-unquote mine with my shower in it and I don't want to have to 
block off the, the bathroom for the kids for two hours, which is about how long it takes for me to take a shower because of my fibro and nerve damage and nerve pain. Uh, so it's going to be exciting. I'm going to get something done. Somehow. Some way. <laughs> And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, and different. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I... Why do I point at my head? Even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and more, I am amazed that I can remember my own name at times. So I'm call it my crone, and we have. Nico Bands, thank you very much. And I hope you catch up, but don't hurt yourself. And they envy underscore Jojo. They just might. Confused Owl 29, thumbs up and thank you. Manthan Kinra, Manthan Kinra, how about that? Some Anon, greatly appreciated. Callum Cartini, thumbs up. Young07, Bratz99, greatly appreciated. Cherubim Bean, thumbs up. There is Stephen Leone, greatly appreciated. Colin Reisenauer, <laughs> I'll just, I'll explain on another day, I hope. Kevin Mahoney, thumbs up and thank you. Jack Taylor, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up. Beefy Beavis, greatly appreciated. Trinity Farmer, thumbs up and thank you. We have Evan, greatly appreciated. Metal Winged Wolf, good to see you in the comments. Thumbs up on that. We have Zoe Ching, thumbs up. There is Cristobel Olivares, greatly appreciated. I don't know a good name. Well, you tried. And then there's Dota 2 Tiny Airlines TV. Thumbs up and thank you. Christopher Thomas. Did I just thank you for a second time? Well, if I did, I did. And if I didn't, then I didn't. But thank you very much. James Saunders. How about that? There's K-H-A-L-E-J-H-A-N-N-E-S. Thumbs up and thank you much. And then there is <laughs> Snufkin's Gay Ass. But hopefully the rest of Snufkin is gay as well, not just Snufkin's ass. I mean, it's... Thumbs up. Anyway, though, thank you, each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that is appreciated to no end. With my depression and all that, getting out of just the echo chamber of my own skull is a very good thing. Greatly appreciated, each and every one of you. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my PayPal link down below, that would be very, very cool. Otherwise, if you could become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. I'm hoping to push through my ADD and get my GoFundMe fixed, but I haven't yet, so... If you could check out the Amazon wishlist link down below or the PayPal link, that would be very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, hopefully I put the subscribe to the channel thing at the beginning. Hopefully, that would be cool. Anyway, though, I've got this video. I have a video I need to record, edit, and render for the second half of the day. I need to take a shower just so I can, like, shave and scour my entire body with sandpaper instead of just my trouble spots. So, I'm clean, just not scoured with sandpaper. Since I use shower gloves, which are basically like sandpaper gloves. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, please do not disappoint the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment. It is always ready, not eager, just ready to cast its scorn upon whomever it feels necessary. Do not call down its scorn upon you. Because that would suck. And of course, Black Lives Matter, damn it. And you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Wear a mask. 
It is important. It's the only way we're going to get through this. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Practice your social distancing. It's painful, but it's a very good thing to do. Justice for everybody. That the brown... I don't know why I mix this up all the time. My sincere apologies. Justice for everyone. The jack-booted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs keep brutalizing and murdering on U.S. American streets.